I was walking down the street with my friends when an idea popped into my head. Why do black and kids have so much hair? And I couldn't get the idea out of my head. By the time I looked up, my friends were way ahead and I couldn't even catch up. But the idea was still there. What do you do with an idea? Well, I called my parents. I said, Dad, can you take me to that place where they do experiments to help kids understand the world? My dad came on by and picked me up, and we went to Kid Science Labs, y'all. Even took a selfie in front, because I had a question. Why does bags of chips have so much air in them? Is this bag of chips full? Is it full? Yes. Okay, what's inside it? Chips. What else? Air. Does it have more chips or more air? More chips. Does it have more chips or more air? point of the air. Why do they put the air inside the bag of chips? Mm. Is it because they, they know we want to eat air? Because air is so tasty? No. Is it because air tastes like hot pepper and sauce? No, it tastes like nothing. So why do they put air in the bag of chips? Well, maybe to make it seem like there's more chips in the bag, so when you pick the bag up, Instead of having a bag of chips this big, they have a bag of chips this big. So it seems like there's so many chips in it. Then they write family size on there when it's really two people size. Two bags of chips. I wonder which one, just by raising your hands, has more chips in it. Which one do you think has lots of air? This one. Okay, which one do you think has no chips at all? Both. <laughs> okay. All right, take the Doritos bag and let's see whether it has chips in it. Squeeze it, pour it out. Any chips in there? Yes. How many chips? This is a lot of here. Okay. Which bag had more chips? So here's my question. Is that a full bag of chips? No. No. The answer is actually yes. The reason they have air in the chips is to stop that from happening. Does anybody want to get a bag of chips and open it up and you get nothing but crumbs? Yes, yeah, sometimes if you're having a salad. Okay. How many people go to the store to buy a bag of chips to eat a salad? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Taco salads have... Let me ask you a question. Would you like to get a bag of chips that look like that? To eat? Yes. No. Okay. How about you? Would you like to get a bag of chips to eat like that? So they don't crush up and turn into atomic particles. What? <laughs> box of cereal is the biggest. Which box of cereal is the smallest? Which box of cereal has the most cereal in it? Which box of cereal has the least amount of cereal in it?
options. This cereal has cereal pieces that are this small, and this cereal has cereal pieces that are a little bit bigger. I think the smallest might be that one. Okay. Why is nobody picking the cereal on the end? Because the one that's a cylinder. That's not a cereal, that's oatmeal. Okay, so let's take the oatmeal and let's remove the oatmeal from the picture, okay? Both of you can read, both of you know a little bit about math. Turn the cereals around so they face you. And the nine-year-old kid, I want you to read the number at the bottom. It's a two-digit number right before OZ, which represents ounces. What's that number? 16. 12. This one at 16, this one at 12, this one at 11. So this one was the smallest, this one was the second biggest, and this one was the biggest. Is that surprising? Yes. Let's talk basic science for a moment. If you look inside matter under a microscope, you'll find atoms. Inside a solid, those atoms are tightly packed together, which is what makes it so hard. A liquid, those atoms are a little bit more loosely spaced, and so it can move around. A gas, those atoms can move almost anywhere, so it fills the room. That is why... Density is mass over volume. Density is how much stuff you can pack inside of a given volume. Gases are not very dense. The molecules are floating around all over the place. Liquids are a little bit more dense, but they can move and they fit the shape of their container. Solids are tightly packed together. That's what makes them hard. So our kids were comparing density of cereal, which is no different than looking at density of a liquid, like in the stack you see above. Let's experiment with that for a little bit. What's inside that wonderful cup? What is this? Rice. Rice. Do you think the rice is more or less dense than air? More. It depends on how much you have. If you had all the air in the world, the air probably would be. And rice. How could, you, how could you do an experiment to see whether that's true? You could get like scale and put one rice, put one rice, and then have the air go on, and the rice will probably go down. If I put rice in water, based on your experiment, what would happen to the rice? It would sink. Okay. If I had more rice and I added it, what would happen based on your experiment? It would sink. Okay. If I had one piece of rice and a lot of water, what would happen based on your experiment? Why do you think it floats with one grain of rice but not with another? Not with a lot of rice? Because, because it's lighter. Okay, grab one piece of rice, let's try it. All the rice is at the bottom? All the rice is at the bottom. Okay. Density does not change based on how much of it there is. Density does not change based on how much of it it is. I wonder if oil will flow in water. Heavier, oil or water? What is more 
dense? Water. What's more dense? Oil or rice? Rice. It's way more dense. How do you know? Because the water's, the oil's on top of the water and the rice is underneath the water. Okay. Let's take a little bit of rice. Let's dump some inside. What do you predict will happen? Oh, it'll go to the bottom. Why? Because this needs to get through the oil. It'll like, it protect itself. It protect it. It's clumping together and turned into a ball. We go like this. Well, I think notice, like, like, is any of the rice still sitting between the oil and water? No. Look closely. Some of the rice is. It's like on the bottom of the. It's on the bottom of the oil and just starting in the water. And some of my rice is right on top. Why that. hasn't it broken through yet? Why do you think? Cause the oil trapped it. You think it's gonna go through? Look at it. Look closely. Yes. I see what happens if I add more rice on top of it. It went down. What you're experiencing is something My called favorite. surface tension. A liquid tries to stay together, so it's almost like a net. It's catching the rice and it's coming through and it's trying this best. Oh no, I don't want to let you pass. But eventually the rice is more dense, so it will fall through. Now what do you think would happen if you added some other object, like a piece of cardboard. You think that would float or sink? Uh, sink. Sink a lot. Talking about density, and we saw that oil is less dense than water. Water is less dense than rice. And that's why we can see the oil sitting on top. Not Man, dense. What else can we put Not in? dense. So if we put it inside our oil, water, and rice, Will the star sticker go to the top or to the bottom? To the top. Let's see. So we can see it's sitting on top. Try to push it down. Is it letting you push it down? No. So is the star more or less dense than oil? Less. How do you know? More. Because it's still floating on the top of the oil. What had happened if I added rice on top of it when it sank? So that's why you see when people make a life raft. If you stand on top of the life raft, do you sink? Doesn't matter how much rice you add. Mm -hmm. It'll make a difference. At a certain, at a certain point, it'll go down. If a million people get on a boat, will the boat sink? Yes. Okay, what's happening to this star over here? Is it starting to sink a little bit? Yes. There's a lot of rice. It's sinking. That's because I added so well, much rice. What if I added rice? a star on top of it? Why does bag of chips have so much air in them? To recap, chips have air both for marketing purposes as well as to protect the chips inside. And the air is actually not air, it's nitrogen. If they used oxygen gas, the chips would actually react with the oxygen, they would get stale, and the oil would react, and you would also have a problem of smell. And so nitrogen keeps them fresh and crisp, and it protects them during packaging because these chips are being sent all over the world. And that's why chips and bags of chips and bags of many things have air in them. Now that we've looked at two different bags of chips, what's the reason why they put air in them? Why would you want air? So they don't crush up and turn into atomic particles. What? What do you predict? Uh, Based on what you know, off of what you've experimented with so no. far, why do you say no? 
because that's so much rice is on top of it. I can't see the, the oil is it pushed back up. Yes, that's because it's pushing off the rice. What was fun about this experiment? Uh, you got to put rice on top of the do you think a bag of chips is dense or not dense? Not dense. How do you know? I think if you had the same amount of water and the same amount of chips, the water would be heavier. Very good. So you think if you put some chips inside here, would the chips sink or would they float? Float. Our potato chips. There was a guess here. If, if I add chips, the chips will do what? Float or sink? Float. Float. What do chips have in them again? Yeah. What are they made from? Potatoes. Potatoes are heavy. Potatoes are heavy. So do you think potatoes are more or less dense than water? More. Let's find out. Put a little bit of chips inside. Let's see what happens. Let's put a little bit inside. Potatoes still pretty dense? Or are you still you're not sure anymore? I'm still sure. I think they do something to the chip. They, they cut like a thin layer of potato. Not if the whole if the chip was a whole potato, they would need a lot of potatoes for chips. I think a chip bag is one potato. So you think a chip bag, if I filled it with a bunch of potatoes versus a bunch of potato chips, you think it would be more dense or less dense? What to potatoes? Less, more dense. So you think so something happens to the potato when it's cooked? Uh, I don't know what happens. All right, here's the challenge. How much rice can you add to the bag before if I put the bag inside my sink, the bag would still float? If I put one piece of rice in there, will the bag still float in the sink? Yes. How much can you add and the, and the bag will still float? If I fill it up, will the bag float? No. No, it would just go wash the sink. Okay. This is an experiment in density. Both of you have the same size bag. Hold it up so I can see it. The more rice I put in it, the more dense it becomes. The less rice I put in it, the less dense it becomes. So at home, we're gonna try to fill up that bag with enough rice that it still floats, but it doesn't sink. Ready? Man, what else can we put in there? 